In this video, we're going to learn about how we can customize our own warehouse number. The topics we're going to cover, they are the hierarchy of WM structure, functions of warehouse, customizing of warehouse numbers, number range assignment, and connecting warehouse management to inventory management. So before we start, let us look at um, the WM org level in SAP. So here in the screen, as you can see that um, if you look at this, this one um, warehouse management level, warehouse number. So first we're going to start creating a, a warehouse number and underneath uh, we'll then create storage types and under that we have storage section and finally we have storage bins. So we're going to start with first with the warehouse number and once we create it, we will assign it to the storage location that we created in the previous video. So let, let us continue with this one. So before we start, let us understand what is the definition of the warehouse number. Warehouse number is the org unit at the highest level in WM. A warehouse often represents a physical building or, or a distribution center. The warehouse number to be created can be only three characters in length. This number can be alphanumeric. To activate the warehouse, you have to link it to a storage location. So about customizing menu path, so that's your menu path in SPR or enterprise structure definition. Under logistic execution, you can see the customization of the warehouse number. And also we need to create the number assignment. So let us start with uh, customizing of a new warehouse number. So in SPRO, um, under enterprise structure definition, under logistic execution, you can see define, copy, delete, check warehouse number. So open this, click on define warehouse number. So here you can uh, make a new entry you can copy if you want or you can click on new entry so here I'm going to create, create click on new entry and I will call it Y W M so as you as we have seen in the previous slide in the PPT slide that it can be only three characters and so you can make it any numeric number or it can be alphanumeric as well so you can create whatever you want but maximum three characters so I'll call it um, warehouse WM training press enter and save as usual it will ask you for the transport request customizing customizing request so select your customizing request and you are done so go back go back Now, before we create the number range, we need, I'll show you some available customizing setting for a warehouse number. So if you close this enterprise structure, if you scroll down and in the customizing again, under logistic execution, you can see um, warehouse management, open that. And under that you can see uh, define control parameters for warehouse number. So open this. Here you will find your warehouse number. So the one that I just created is YWM. Open this and double click on it. And there are a few settings here we available. So for example, uh, here you can create the weight units. What's a weight unit? For example, if I press F1 uh, for this one, you can see the, the definition of what does it mean. So unit refer, referring to the gross weight or the net weight of the material. So you can see, um, you can read all this detail if you want. So all weights are managed in the warehouse of, in the unit of weight that you specify here. So basically we're going to create a default uh, weight unit. For example, I'm going to create it a kg. And then you can have a first default unit of measure. So what's the default unit of measure? So if I open this, you can see a couple of options here. For example, 
what you need for example as you know in the material master you can have different unit of measure for example you can have a standard unit of measure or what we call it base unit of measure then we have order unit of measure and we can maintain different types of units of measure so here for example we can say that okay for wm we want to keep wm unit of measure if we're maintaining it and then we can have a second default for example if you want you can keep it if you want you can leave it blank we can say base unit of measure for example then i'm going to show you the all the important um, fields here for other fields if you want you can press f1 on any field and you can uh, see the details what that means and then we need to come down to this checkbox storage unit management active so if you want to activate the storage unit management then you need to make sure that you check this box under the warehouse number customizing now what is storage unit management don't worry about this at this stage we're going to discuss about this in the next videos so for now i'm going to uncheck this and then we got the blocking logic so what is blocking logic is how how you want to block the materials so for example if i make it wider so for example block material exclusively per warehouse number during to creation or block material exclusively per storage bin during to generation or the third one third one is the most common one that we use because that's this one is for block material shared for maximum level of parallel processing that means maximum users can use it if i select b again just for your information if i press f1 on this field you can see more details if you want you can pause the video and go through it so that's that's the first one what is the first one and then the if you select a then that's the definition if you select b then that's the definition so if you want you can pause the video read this and then continue so for now as you can see with b setting b several users can work in the same bin at the same time so let's select b and then we got another one um partial picking so if you want to how you want to manage the partial picking so for example if you want to allow partial picking for multiple processing for delivery allowed partial picking for multiple processing for uh, 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 tr allowed partial picking for multiple processing of tr and delivery delivery allowed so again if i press f1 on this field um, you can see more details not much detail here uh, in f1 so just close it so for now so we'll select the for example the last one that partial picking for multiple processing of tr and delivery not allowed so leave it blank for now and this one the last one i'm going to show you capacity check so what is capacity check so that means when system is doing the capacity check whether you want to populate a warning or an error or there should be no notification so we'll discuss about the capacity check in the later videos but if you want to see some information again you can press f1 and like this one you can understand what is the capacity check but don't worry about this we'll talk about this later so let us save this one this setting for my warehouse and that's it next thing is we're going to talk about the number ranges so what is number range so when you create the warehouse number then you need to make sure that you also create the number ranges so if i open the number ranges select the first one assignment number ranges so here you can see like for in standard sap you can see for warehouse number 001 you can see 01 is the one for number range for quant number range for transport order number range for uh, transport request number range for posting changes and all that so you can press f1 and see everything and this one is for storage unit stuff like that now if you if i search for the warehouse number that i just created so click on position click on y wm so here you can see it's <coughs> it's all blank so let's make it the same entry for example 0 1 0 1 zero one you can make it zero to and then customize it accordingly but just to keep it simple um keep it same setting like others zero one and save save it 
Now for all this 0 1 you need to go through all these and create the number interval. For example, you can see if I open this one again, the first, if I go to the left, so the, the one we have is, is the number range for quant, number range for transfer, transfer order, then for transfer request. Same thing here, you have the one for trans, for transfer re requirement, trans, uh, transfer order for quant and all that. So same thing we'll do here. Here, for example, if I call the standard warehouse, which is 001, if I click on display, you can you can see 01 was assigned here and the, the form two number range is from one to this number and the current set is 345. So I can copy this, that's maximum 10 digits. So if I, I can copy this and then I'll create for my warehouse number. So Y, WM, so click on change interval so because we selected 0 1 so we'll keep 0 1 here so i'll copy the number here this up to 1 so i'll remove the one from the back side and put one in the front press enter save it so need to do this for all all of the entries here that you can see now for transfer order, same if you want, you can first call 001 and you can see the same similar settings. So I can again copy this same thing, go back, call your warehouse number, click on change interval, 01. So I will not explain more, much more detail about warehouse, the number ranges because it's similar to what we have done in the what you have learned in the customizing of in the standard MM um, or inventory management training, which is a mandatory requirement to learn this um, course. Third one for quant, call it YWM, click on change, same thing, zero one. save for post chain notice ywm so i'll just do it quickly So the last one we created for group. So what is group? We'll talk about this one later on. So that's all about creating the number ranges. So that's the number range. And then connecting your warehouse management to inventory management. So that's very important how you connect uh, your warehouse uh, number to a storage location basically. So what you do is you just need to assign it to the combination of the plant and store location. So let's have a look. So under assignment, SPRO, enterprise structure, um, close definition, assignment, logistic execution. So assign warehouse number to plant and store location combination. So open this. Here you can copy any entry or you can straight away click on new entry. So the plant we created was YWMS. Store location we created before was YWMS. And now warehouse number we created is Y. Sorry, store location was 0020, not YWMS. Press enter just to make sure. And the warehouse number we created is YWM.
the center. Looks good. So as you remember that in the previous video uh, for the storage location, we have created a storage location 10 and 20. So 10 was we we 10 we meant to be for the uh, inventory management only and 20 is for WM training. So if I do not assign 10 here, that means that is not linked to WM. If it's assigned here to, to the warehouse number, that means that's WM activated. So that's how you can activate for the uh, warehouse management for a storage location. So that's all about this uh, video. So just a recap. So to, to in this video, we learned about the uh, hierarchy of the WM structure or the org structure in the WM. Function of the warehouse, customize how to customize the new warehouse numbers and how to change the settings and the number range assignment for the warehouse and the connection between the warehouse management and inventory management. So for assignment, uh, I want you to customize at least two warehouse numbers uh, for org structure, set up number range assignment for a warehouse and also do the other settings that we have seen in the video. And finally, assign your warehouse number to the plant and store location combination that you have created in the previous exercise. So that's all about this topic and thank you very much to watch this.